Summer's finally here, and here in the Southland, June gloom, which has been in full effect for the last three weeks, is finally starting to lift, and the sun is coming out all day. So whether you're out protesting or standing outside your local home goods in line waiting to get in, yeah, this is my life, you're going to need sun protection. So if you'd like to know more, just keep watching. Hi everyone and welcome to the Free Range Diva. Today I'm going to be talking to you about sunscreens. Now if you followed me on this channel long enough, you know that my ride or die, never be without sunscreen has always been DeVita's Solar Moisturizer. Well, about a year ago, they took it off the, the market and they reformulated it and it's back on. And although prior to it going away, DeVita had been a company that was, among other things, corn-free. It was a non-GMO, corn-free, soy-free. I think it might even been gluten-sensitive, safe. Um, now they have put a corn derivative really high up in the ingredient list of that moisturizer. Uh, if you don't know, I am corn sensitive, probably corn allergic, although not anaphylactic. However, um, I am extremely touch sensitive to corn. And I do have some viewers that found me through the corn blog that I follow, so uh, it's important that you know that products that if, if I'm using something or I'm showing you something that's not corn free, I will absolutely tell you that. But these all are. So, um, I needed a new facial sunscreen, preferably an SPF 30. Uh, that was obviously not going to leave me with a white cast because that would be bad. That was corn free, as well as all those other um, good, you know, gives you good protection. That is non nano because everything that I use is a mineral sunscreen. I don't use chemical sunscreens because. Uh, there, so many of those uh, active ingredients are endocrine disruptors. And who needs that, especially when you're postmenopausal? So, uh, yeah, everything that I'm going to be showing you today, the three that I'm going to be showing you today were the three that made the cut. Um, in addition to minerals, I also wanted them to be affordable because this is something you're going to put on your face every day. So um, yeah, three made the cut today, and that's what I'm going to be showing you. Some affordable, cleanly formulated, uh, effective, non-nano mineral sunscreens that work for all women, including women of color. So here we go. A quick little note on SPFs. SPF uh, 15 blocks about 93% of UVB rays, SPF 30, 97%, and SPF 50 blocks 98% of the UVB. And the UVB is the cancer-causing rays from the sun. The UVA is more skin-damaging rays. I mean, they both damage, but yeah, they measure SPFs as how well they block UVB. And when you see broad spectrum, that just means that that the SPF blocks both UVA and UVB, and all of the sunscreens that I'm talking about today are broad spectrum. We're going to do these in the order of three to one, or the least to my favorite. Not that least won't work for you, but uh, that's what we're going to start with, because one, the last one, is a clear heads above everybody else favorite, but I did want to give you options. So the first one that we're going to be starting with today is from Juice Beauty. This is their SPF 30 Mineral Moisturizer. This is a what they consider to be a BB cream because this comes in four shades. However, the shade that I have here is actually the sheer shade, Cheryl with the sheer shade, uh, that um, does not have any color to it. It is sheer. So. So from its website, the details on this are that it is for all types, especially normally normal, dry, or mature. It's got 20% non-nano zinc oxide in it. It's reef safe and vegan. 
The hydrating ingredients in here are hyaluronic acid, aloe, castor seed oil, coconut, jojoba, and sunflower oils. And its antioxidants are apple and grape juices, and it has a mild fragrance. Of the three, this is probably the most expensive at $30 for uh, two ounces, depending on where you get it. And um, of the three, this is the heaviest formula. Uh, it is, when it says moisturizer, they aren't kidding. Uh, you really do not need to use a um, moisturizer underneath this. I find it to be quite hydrating. Had it on uh, all day yesterday and I was out all day at the farmer's market and the, where else did I go? The gross, standing in line at the grocery store because this is my life. <laughs> um, yeah. But uh, as you see, once you put it on, uh, it takes it a minute because it's quite thick. And as I said, it's, it's heavy, uh, but it does penetrate and eventually, and I'll give you a time on it, uh, the white cast that you see does go away, leaving you with something that, uh, to the naked eye at least, looks, uh, you know, very, it's, it's shiny in the sense that it's heavily moisturized, but it also, you can't, it does look like normal skin. It doesn't look like you're wearing a white cast on it. And because of its light sensor, the flashback from the zinc oxide is always more dramatic on camera than it is in real life. Um, what I like to do with a product like this is follow it up with a dusting or a, a, a layer of mineral makeup. And that way you can, um, you know, hide that white cast a little bit. In fact, I will show you here on my hand I just put a little on. As you can see, it's been about a minute since I put that on. So it's not in, as I look at it, just normally here in life, I don't see very much of a white cast at all. I'm sure you can see a lot more on camera, but I'm gonna grab my, um, this is my Plain Jane Beauty Mineral Makeup here and just put a little bit of that on. And so you can see that this not only takes down that shine, can we get a little, there we go. Not only does this take down the shine, but it also takes away any of that remaining white cast. And then you can see it on my face, what my full face looks like with it as well. I'll show you. So the Juice Beauty can work for you. Uh, and it uh, is pretty easy to find. The carry, Ulta carries Juice Beauty, uh, Sephora may, I don't know, but certainly all of the usual online uh, green beauty retailers like your Pharmaca, Vitacost, probably iHerb too, I'll double check that, but uh, they do carry Juice Beauty and they do carry this product. In fact, I think I picked this up from iHerb, no. I picked this up from Pharmaca. I think that's where I got it. The next one is going to be from Babo Botanicals. I love that. <laughs> I love saying that name. This is their daily sheer sunscreen. SPF 40 is what you're going to get here. And uh, on the company's website, I'll give you the details quickly. <clears throat> this is their daily sheer facial. Uh, it's non-nano zinc oxide at 3.3% and titanium dioxide at 5.9%. This is also reef safe. Uh, this is for extra sensitive skin, all skin types. I mean, it's not just for extra sensitive skin, but if your skin is really sensitive, uh, this this one, they say that this w could would uh, work for you. Um, it is, the hydrating ingredients in here are aloe, shea, sunflower, and jojoba, and it has antioxidant ingredients that include green tea and a little bit of rosehip seed. It is also fragrance free and this one does include a small amount of what they call hydrogen dimethicone. So I'm assuming that's a silicone. This is the only one of the three that has that. So um, just be mindful, you wanna make sure that you wash this off every night uh, <laughs> because you don't wanna leave that silicone product on there clogging up your pores. The This, uh, I, Again, uh, I 
did not see a detectable white cast when I used this. It This is also a very sheer lotion that, boom, goes into the skin pretty quickly. Uh, it's very lightweight. If you have dry skin, you're probably gonna wanna put on a lightweight moisturizer underneath this. I usually do. Um, but uh, you could, you know, if you if normal to oily skin, no need. I mean, again, it's give, it gives you a little bit of, high, a little bit of hydration. Um, and of course you get your SPF coverage. This one um, is, I again, I like to use mineral makeup over it, but you can also use, if you want liquid foundation, I think that would work quite well with this because it does absorb into the skin and it doesn't leave your skin feeling too shiny or you know tacky or like there's something on it. It really disappears in. So this gives a big, this gets a big number two for me. Uh, again, I have had no irritation from this product. And this retails for, a, the, the, I believe this is going to be your most affordable option at $20 for 1.7 fluid ounces. And again, it depends on where you get it and uh, if you get it on sale or not. That's right. I did get this from Pharmaca because they were having a 20% off site wide sale. So I did pick up this in the Juice Beauty from Pharmaca. So see, 20% off. Finally, the one that I'm wearing today is from Zatik. Uh, I found this company quite by accident. I was in Whole Foods and the customer service rep there um, showed me a variety of uh, sunscreens that she recommended but this was the one that she said was her number one top recommendation uh, i had a question about one of the ingredients in the in it so i called before i purchased it i called the company and asked about it and told them a little bit about what i was doing in terms of researching um mineral sunscreens and they uh they gave me they sent it to me so thank you very much everybody over at satik uh, and as it turned out you guys were the winner, heads and shoulders above the other two. So let me tell you more about what the website says. This is for all skin types. It's unscented and hypoallergenic. It is soy-free and vegan. Uh, it is 10% non-nano non zinc oxide, and they bump up the sun protection factor by adding in coconut triglycerides, uh, leaving it a little bit above an SPF 30, but on the label it's an SPF 30. The hydrating ingredients in here are jojoba, castor, and argan oils, uh, and it also has antioxidant protection from vitamin C and wild cherry. This one, um, again, is about $24 depending on where you get it, and that is for 1.7 fluid ounces. Uh, I'm going to now cut to me putting this on because uh, I'm going to tell you, you can see it going on and me telling you the experience of using this product. So we'll cut to that. So here's the container with a little pump and you can pump out about a quarter of a teaspoon. And There you go. <laughs> and that is why this shot to the top of the list. A little more for the neck. What you'll notice is not only does it, it's lotion, so it's very lightweight, it sinks in really quickly, as you saw, and it, um, it, for the first like 10 seconds or so after it's sunk in, it feels a little bit tacky, but just give it about 10 seconds and that goes away and then you're left with very smooth feeling skin. That is why this is the uh, 
one that I know that I would have no, I have no um, issues with using this under a liquid foundation because it does leave your skin feeling just like it normally would after a moisturizer. And in this case, I did put a lightweight moisturizer on before this, but I would say that for most um, skins, whether you're normal to oily, slightly dry, you probably won't need it. So there you go. So there you have it. Everything that uh, I, the three sunscreens that made the cut. Um, again, I think if you're a woman of color, you're going to love this. If you have fair skins, you're still gonna love them because they are all three very easy to, to use and can be applied um, in different. For example, in the winter time, you might wanna think more up along the lines of the Juice Beauty simply because it is a heavier, um, more um, hydrating, oil-rich product. Just a quick wrap up. All of these uh, sunscreens have mostly organic ingredients. They're all cruelty free. They are all non-nano and reef safe. And shelf life, the Juice Beauty is 12 months. The Babo Botanicals is 12 months. And the Zatik is eight months. So you get a good amount of product and uh, you won't have to worry about them going bad anytime soon. Also, what's nice about this packaging is that no air gets in, you know, because you have this pump, pump dispenser. That's the Zatik we're talking about. Okay. So that's going to wrap it up for today. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. That really helps me out. If you have a sun, if you're in the market for the sun, for a sunscreen, let me know in the comments below. If you have a sunscreen that you use regularly and you love it, let me know that as well. And if you have any thoughts on um, chemical versus physical sunscreen, let me know that as well. So until I talk to you again in my next video, which will be on Friday. Yes, I switch my uploads to Fridays now. So until I see you next Friday in my next video, I'm wishing you a wonderful day, a wonderful week. Take good care of yourselves and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye.